Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another YouTube video. So it's been a while since I posted like a workout video on here. So today we're going to be doing some upper body. Um, I am lucky that I do have some equipment. I bought it all online like off Amazon, off eBay, and off this website called Sweatband as well. Um, so yeah, I've been lucky. If you don't have any equipment, that's fine. You can replace the equipment with either like a um, homemade dumbbell. So you could use water bottles, you could use like jugs or like cartons or something. You could like fill up a backpack with a bunch of like heavy things to make it heavy for like rows and stuff. You can make a barbell at home as well if you get like a broomstick or a mop stick. And then you can tie a plastic bag to each side and like fill the plastic bag with something heavy as well. So just try to make it work at home. If you only have light weights, you can up the reps or do more time under tension with these exercises. I just want to show you guys like how I'm structuring my training at home. So currently I'm training my upper body twice a week and I'm doing my lower body three times a week because my upper body is quite hench and I'm trying to like not like get too, you know, buff here. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Alright, so um, I'm lucky enough to have like a very wide range of like weights. So during my workouts, I do mix low and high rep ranges. I'm starting with low rep ranges because strength just takes it out of me a lot more. Strength is a lot more specific than hypertrophy. So if you want to, you know, get strong and maintain your strength, you got to work with heavier weights. So I'm going to start with a superset. I'm going to do five sets of five reps. I'm going to do a push press. I have 40 kilos right here on my barbell. And then I'm going to do chin-ups on my pull-up bar. I haven't done chin-ups in like almost three weeks now. So this is going to be interesting. But yeah. So with the push press, you just do like a tiny little movement at the knees to help you push the weight up. I go pretty heavy with these. Um, again, 40 kilos is quite heavy for me. And I'm going to try and get stronger at this specific exercise during this lockdown. Okay, I'm not going to lie. My chin-ups look like shit because I hadn't done them in ages. And because I was really scared of just falling down and like breaking something. But I fixed my pull-up bar. It is stable now. I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit scared of using that pull-up bar. Just because like, I don't know, it's not drilled. Like you just have to twist it into place. But yeah, I'm going to do four more sets of that and then we'll move on. Alright, so next I'm going to be hitting some chest and some back. I'm going to do another superset. I like supersetting things just because like, you know, makes things go by a lot quicker, especially with upper body. Um, hitting chest and back in a superset is a great way to be more time efficient. So I'm going to be doing a flat barbell bench press straight into a barbell row. Now, of course, I don't have like a proper like bench at home, which is really annoying, but I made like a makeshift one with some chairs. I don't know if you guys can see. So this is like my makeshift kind of home bench press. My chairs are really shit for this, but it's all that I have. Um, and then I just put like a couple of like pillows on the ground, like right here, just so I can like, you know, do my power lifter, like arch kind of thing. And it also helps me dig my um, upper back into the floor. So I'm gonna start off with that. We're gonna be doing eight to 10 reps on each so this is very unstable um so try and like test this out with a lighter weight if you can before moving into your working weight i've done this before like i know how to kind of hack it so yeah let's just get straight into it okay so i like doing a floor press with my legs bent it helps me use a tiny bit of floor drive whenever i can so if you're going to attempt this just make sure you're digging your upper back into the bench and bringing the bar down as close to your chest as you can to ensure you're hitting a full range of motion Now with the barbell, you really want to make sure you're keeping the elbows tucked in and you're rowing the barbell to your belly button. This is a great exercise for your lats and will also engage your core because you need to keep yourself stable in that bent over position. Alright, so that was my first set. Um, so I'm, I usually bench a bit heavier than this when I'm in the gym, but like because of the setup, you don't have any leg drive. You can't like drive your feet into the ground as much. Um, it's a lot harder and you feel it more in your pecs as well. Um, that's why I can't really go as heavy right now. Also, like I've lost a bit of strength 
in my chest and I'm not like benching as often or like as properly as in the gym. So yeah, so just be sure to go a bit lighter if you're doing a floor press just because you won't have as much leg drive. I'm keeping the range of motion thanks to those cushions that I have underneath my back because it allows me to arch that way on the side. When I come down, my elbows do go below my chest. That way I'm hitting a good enough range of motion. Okay, so I just did four sets of that. I'm still a bit out of breath because like supersets just take it out of me. But yeah, next we're gonna do another chest and back superset. Um, we're gonna be doing the exercise that everyone's been doing um, lately. We're gonna be doing push-ups. So I'm gonna be aiming for like 12 to 15 reps on the push-ups and then I'm gonna be doing plate rows. I'm gonna hold a plate in each arm and then bend over and just row into my hip bones. I'm gonna go a lot higher rep with these ones. I'm gonna go about like 15 to 20 reps just because I only have 15 kilo plates, which are quite light for me. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. Um, nothing really too complicated here. Push-ups, just like everyone's doing them on Instagram these days. Just make sure you're not flaring out your elbows too much. The more you tuck them in though, the more it's going to be tricep focused. And try and come down as low as you can with these, of course. So with these plate rows, I like to really get a big stretch at the bottom of the movement to get a big stretch in my lats. And I'm rowing the plates towards my hip bones. A lot of people don't go far back enough. And I like to keep my elbows tucked in right here to avoid any trap engagement. Okay, so just did three sets of those two exercises. We're gonna do our last back exercise um, for the workout. So I have like a band tied, um, cause I have a fire door, so I have like that metal thing <clears throat> up there like for my fire door, I don't know how to explain it, but I just have somewhere high up to tie a band around. So if you guys can find somewhere high up to tie a band around, that is perfect. If not, you could replace this with like a seated row, like a seated, um, close grip like row. It's not exactly the same, but you know, it's a row. So yeah, and I'm gonna be doing single arm to make sure we even out those imbalances. I have so many imbalances in my upper body. So I'm gonna just like be uh, seated on the floor and I'm gonna hold both handles in one hand and I'm just gonna row down, really focusing on getting a big stretch in the lat at the top and really squeezing, pulling my elbow back behind me. I'm gonna do three sets of as many reps as I can and I'm gonna be holding it at the bottom for like a couple seconds at the bottom of each rep as well. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. I had an amazing mind-muscle connection with these ones right here. So I kind of like to twist to the side slightly at the bottom of the movement. And as you can see, I'm holding it at the bottom for like a second or two after each rep. The only way I can think of progressively overloading these with a band is to like sit farther and farther each time I do these or to add more reps or to do more time under tension. All right, so um, now we're gonna finish with some shoulders. We're gonna do mechanical drop set first. So a mechanical drop set essentially like, you're technically not dropping the weight, it's the same weight, but you go from doing one exercise to doing an easier um, variation of that exercise. So I'm gonna be doing a behind the neck press. Not to failure, I'm gonna stop a couple reps shy of failure and then go straight into a regular overhead press with a barbell in front of me. Um, I have 20 kilos, so like I have a five on each side of my barbell. So yeah, I'm gonna do three sets of that. This is really good to get a good pump in your shoulders. So I love the behind the neck press. I think that it's great for core engagement. I think that it does engage the lateral and the rear delts a bit more than the traditional overhead press. So yeah, this exercise has always been a staple of mine. And then straight into a traditional overhead press. So unlike the push press right here, the legs stay straight and I'm not using my knees at all to push the weight. It is all shoulders. All right. That was fucking tough. I got 15 reps on behind the neck and then I just went to like five in front just because I was so dead. I might drop it down to just doing 12 reps behind the neck and then doing maybe like six to eight reps. But yeah, I'm gonna do three sets of that, keeping the rest time short just because um, I need to 
eat. I'm really hungry. I've been eating in like six hours. And then we're gonna do one last tricep for our shoulders. So this tricep, we're gonna start by doing plate front raises. I'm gonna be using my five kilo Olympic plates because it's gonna be a bit awkward because the plates are so big, but I have no choice. And then we're gonna be doing an upright row with a plate. I'm gonna grab a 15 kilo plate and do an upright row. And then lastly, I'm gonna be doing a standing Arnold press with five kilo plates each side, nice and light, just to get a good burn in those shoulders. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So these look quite funny just because of how huge the plates are. I don't really have any choice. I do these leaning forward to engage the lateral head of the delt a little bit more um, and to avoid any trap engagement as well. Now with the upright row, you want to focus on not coming up too high to avoid um, hurting your shoulders. And then afterwards, straight into that Arnold press. Again, this looks a bit awkward because of the plates, but I don't really have anything else to work with. And I still felt these, they burned like crazy. All right, and there you have it, guys. This is like just a typical full upper body that I do at home. So as I said in the beginning, I train my upper body twice a week. I hit chest, back, and shoulders. I do a lot of volume on shoulders because I want like just those nice cap delts. Um, I'm not training arms because when I train back, my biceps get pretty engaged anyway. Um, and I do like a lot more volume on my back than on my chest, obviously, because I don't want to like worsen my posture. I want to try and open this up and everything. So yeah, I'm also not concerned with like losing gains in my upper body just because I have sufficient weight for my legs that I'm waiting on like more weights to arrive. I should be good for hip thrusts and like deadlifts and stuff. Squats is gonna be a very sad regression just because I don't have a squat rack. It's not safe for me to like squat heavy weight without a squat rack, obviously. So yeah, but you know what? Whatever, like there's so many, you know, ups and downs in this lockdown, like for every, you know, minus there's a plus and you just have to look at the bright side and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. As I said in the beginning, you can do these exercises with dumbbells, um, with like a broomstick barbell. Be creative, get creative, like you just use a backpack or something and fill it up with heavy shit. So yeah, um, let me know what kind of content you guys would like to see next. I have all the time in the world now to create all the content in the world. So yeah, your wish is my command and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.